Okay, so two of the latest books that I have purchased and I think they are fabulous. Um, they are both on drawing and painting botanical um, art and they are, I wouldn't say so much for like complete beginners, but they would be great for beginners because I think you should find a good place to start from and from from learning and I think these two books would be fantastic for that so they're great for somewhere between artists and more experienced uh, painters so drawing and painting botanicals for artists how to create beautiful uh, beautifully detailed plant and flower illustrations so this is just you know flowers and plants um, so here is a little flip through, so you get beautiful, more traditional than modern um, illustrations. So they are, you know, quite a bit more detailed, but not as complicated as um, some of the traditional ones. I'm sorry about the noise outside, it's like so hot. I will have to close the window in a bit. So yeah, if you want to learn how to draw. Then um, within the same sort of um, league, we have Isik Gunnar, which is Botanical Illustration from Life, a visual guide to observing, drawing and painting plants. Again, if you want to learn how to do that, her book is fantastic. Um, so yeah, it kind of has this style of a fresh uh, traditional botanical art. So it has that realism of botanical art, but the way she paints is definitely modern. It's very, it has a contemporary and fresh feeling to it. That's the best way I could describe it. Um, whether it's the composition that she picks or the actual subjects or the colors of them or shapes um, some of her things are very very distinct and beautiful um, huge selection on learning how to uh, paint and draw um, leaves so. Also loads of information on mixing colors, so as you can see, um, loads of reading, which means that you're going to learn a lot from this book. And yeah, great book to have. So loads and loads of um, material to go through and uh, learn from so fantastic book and it's I think it's a newly published yeah so it was first published 2019 here we go okay so that's that and this book let me see when was that published I think it's a relatively new as well mm, yeah 2020 so it's a new book okay so now let's dive into something that's quite up there it's uh, very much feels unachievable to me but I love looking at it because I think it's just so stunning and those books are uh, so this is Rosie Sanders and it's a book dedicated to roses so if you love roses this is just going to look at roses and it's beautiful I mean I'm going to show you, this is the overview of all her stunning illustrations and the style is mesmerizing. She draws very huge, uh, like on a big scale, very big flowers and um, yeah. There's also, by the way, always a little sketch here and there, which is quite loosely based. And I think they are great to be inspired by. So if you don't want to do something like that, then look, there's always a bit of illustration here, which is also very pretty and, and loose. So why not being inspired by these as well as the 
main illustrations of some of them here as well. Sorry, this book is very huge, um, so it's hard to get it in place, in, um, in frame. Another Rosie Sanderson look, or Sanders, is flowers. So this is more kind of a broader spectrum of flowers, not just the roses. Um, so as you saw, the first, this is going to be as stunning, but just have all the other books. So I think it's a collector's item, both of those books, just uh, stunning. What else can be said about that? Even just to look at them, you know, when you need some, sometimes it's hard to create and you try and try and just doesn't work. This is perfect. Make yourself a cup of tea or coffee, whatever you prefer. Sit down with a nice bit of a blanket, if it's not 34 degrees outside, and just enjoy looking at this and the color palette the the shapes of the leaves something will inspire you and inevitably you will want to start creating so beautiful right now let's move on to the final um group of books and these are great for inspiration so these are all going to be pictures and um, this is a little one, so it's great to have somewhere on the desk, it doesn't take up too much space, but it's quite heavy, so I wouldn't really recommend take it on the go. But, um, Flower Color Guide by Dora and Michael Putnam, and what a neat little book. I mean, I have used this book so many times. First of all, color palette, do we need to say any more? It starts with white. And it literally goes through the entire color palette. I mean, look at these flowers. Some of these flowers are so unique, so beautiful. Um, you know, you can use this for inspiration, totally. And it just goes into, look at these roses. They just look unreal. They're so stunning. And yeah, so they obviously, they're florists and um, they work in New York, they have the uh, florist shop and they're very much like trend orientated so they know what looks good and from my understanding they have catered to like big um, fashion events and weddings and things like that so they are a big name in New York and yeah they've done really well because you can see how stunning everything is so it starts from white goes to dark almost black and you go through everything pretty much in here. Okay, now, this is a big boy, super heavy, and it's called Flora Inside a Secret World of Plants. Oh my gosh, this book is stunning. It's by Q, Royal Botanical Gardens, and so you know that you're going to be in for a treat. So these are fantastic for just um, getting inspiration and learning. If you love to learn about flowers and botanical um, plants and matters then again you are going to find things that you've never never seen it's like an encyclopedia uh, of beautiful gorgeousness so I couldn't recommend this book anymore I think it's a stunning book to give as a gift either to yourself or anyone that you think would enjoy it loads of leaves uh, loads of flowers all the good stuff that we love and look at that. Is that fruit or something? Yeah, so it just explains to you how things work in, in the, you know, nature and the natural habitat of things. Yeah, this is the um, mistletoe. It's quite interesting how the seed basically, when birds um, eat the berries, the seed sticks to their nose. Then they kind of fly away from the tree, go to another tree, shake their head and that seed wherever it's going to um, kind of fall onto a branch, it's going to stick um, to that branch and then it sort of gives roots inside the branch and it's like a parasite that will start growing into this big bowl of mistletoe and that's how <laughs> things work. I had no idea. All I know is that one day I noticed, like when we moved to the countryside, um, I've noticed these trees, like in the winter, when the trees are bare, but you could see these big balls, and I was thinking, what is this? And then I started reading up on it, and it ended up be being mistletoe. So how interesting is that? So this sort of thing you can learn loads about. And then the final book, 
Oh, feels even heavier. This is called Plant. Uh, it is by the publisher Paydon, which is the same as the little flower book that I just showed you before the big one. And who is it by? Exploring the Botanical World. I can't see any names on here. Yeah, it doesn't say a single name, so I don't know. It was published in 2016. And it is a New York based publisher. So we're going to have some stunning work here. So this is a collection of botanical artists. And um, it's got, it starts from the early days. So you can see those. And then actually I'm trying to think, how is this organized? Time or name? I don't remember now. Does it say timeline? Okay, so there's a timeline, then plant, taxonomy and glossary, works of art. Doesn't really explain, but the point is, it is stunning. It's got every possible botanical artist in existence, and it goes from pho photo photography to uh, paintings, and I think some digital art, a few pieces as well. And this looks like a rug. Um, so if you wanted to learn about all possible artists out there, this is a great book. It took me a couple of evenings to flip through the whole thing. But it is stunning. Again, a great way to get inspired. Look at that, someone spent so much time and effort to create these pieces. It's incredible. And then there's a beautiful photograph of a rose, which is just like an x-ray. And then some of these beautiful things. Yeah. So, that's it. If you are interested in botanical art in general, I would recommend um, authors like Billy Shawell, Anna Mason and Julia Trique. So, they have an abundance of books. I think I have every single book of Billy Shawell. Uh, also great to learn about botanical art, but more of the traditional ones. So, that's it for today and I will see you soon.